It's called an inverter by the inventor, and it consists of just four neodymium disks, which are very strong magnets. And then curiously here we have a ring containing six very small neodymium magnets. And now to make the effect, we simply have to join these pieces together. Thus, that's quite strong now. And this one here, oh, that's a strong one. To show how strong they are, we'll just bring it together and see what happens. It's going to push it away from quite a distance. Anyway, we want it to be attracting, so I'm going to put it in that mode there when it's going to oh, come towards it and we'll keep it away. Now the ring here, we're going to get this into repulsion mode to try and get it to push away. Oh, it's attracting. So I'll turn it over and now it should repel. Yes, it's repelling. Now the clever part is when we put these two pieces together as an assembly, we've now got a, a single magnetic system in which we have one that's going to be attracted to this and a little set of ring of six which are being repelled by this outside magnet. What's going to happen? When I bring this towards it, it's being attracted to the middle one, but it's being repelled by the little satellite ones on the outside. Oh, it was attracted and it stopped. It's being repelled. There's about an eighth or quarter inch air gap there now where it can't get any closer, but not further away either. If I turn this one, well, nothing much there. If I turn the big one, though, the ring, let's see what happens. It turns around with it, still maintaining that air gap of about eighth to a quarter inch all the way around. It's called an inverter by the inventor.